And from the campaign trail, our top story this morning, Dr. Ben Carson firing back after a new round of attacks on his life story. Politico posting an article with the headline, quote, Ben Carson admits fabricating West Point scholarship. The site has since changed that headline, but the attacks have not gone away. Joining me now live, Ben Carson's campaign manager, Barry Bennett. Good morning, Mr. Bennett. And I wonder what's new this morning uh, in the Carson campaign over the last 48, 72 hours. If you listen to much of the mainstream media, they feel Ben Carson is on the ropes. Yeah, I think they're wrong. I mean, if uh, I noticed this morning that uh, Politico has put another editor's note on the story. Uh, this thing is just slowly disintegrating. It was an outright lie. We never, we never uh, said anything about any kind of falsification or, or you know, that Ben exaggerated even. You know, Ben was the top, um, the city executive officer, the top ROTC student in Detroit. He had amazing test scores and he had good grades. He could have gone to any college in America. They recruited him. They offered him a nomination. That's all he ever said. This is, uh, you know, it's a, this is a witch hunt. But you acknowledge he did it at the very least misspeak multiple times in books, in speeches, because he was not offered a quote unquote scholarship, right? That, that's not well, possible. I, a nom everybody who gets a nomination, everyone who gets a nomination is getting a full scholarship. I mean, there's no price. For him, a poor kid in Detroit, going to college for free was tantamount. So I mean, that's why he was talking about. Okay, so the New York Times this morning has another bit about when he was uh, at Yale University, he talked about attending a class called Perceptions 301 and describing mm -hmm. a professor conducting an honesty experiment and wrote that uh, Ben Carson said he was the only one who passed, prompting the Yale Daily News uh, to run a story on him with a, uh, with a photo. Nobody can find that photo, but beyond that, uh, folks have no, now ben, gone ben, back. I need to stop you. I need to stop you yeah. right there. Ben never said that. Ben, ben told the story. He never said that there was a story in the Yale Daily News. He said there was a photo the, taken of him. There was a photo taken. Right. right. So they can't find the photo. So obviously Ben's a liar. I mean, oh, this oh, is no. amazing. But beyond that, also, people are saying that we've, we've gone back and we can't find a class that was given at Yale by that name. Does he say You know, I ben went online Carson? last night and I found, I found Psych 301 at Yale. Okay. So Ben Carson yesterday, we've heard uh, Donald Trump say again and again, he's low energy. Uh, he doesn't fight back. Was he right. being fired back at that news conference? Has this awoken a sleeping giant? Yeah, I mean, I think you're going to see a new Ben Carson at the debate coming up next week. I mean, you know, we, uh, he's not going to take this, you know, these pointless attacks. Okay. Well, that, the debate obviously will be on the Fox Business Network Tuesday evening. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. look forward to seeing how Dr. Ben Carson steps up as well as the other candidates. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Ed.